If you think it's best to teach children to communicate by using a language instead of a collection of arbitrary images or shapes, I'd like to tell you about the language of Bliss Symbolics. Bliss symbols were developed by Charles Bliss in the 1940s. He was looking for a language that could be learned and used by anyone on Earth. His language is constructed, meaning consciously devised instead of naturally evolved. Ideographic, meaning graphic symbols that represent an idea or concept without phonology. And generative, meaning able to create an infinite number of concepts from an initial finite set. The language is purely conceptual. The symbols don't have to be translated into a spoken language in order to be understood. This has special implications for cognitively disabled individuals. Bliss symbols are constructed using a few straight lines and simple curves. As such, they require less cognitive effort to explore and recognize. For tactile learners, this means that the symbols can be processed more quickly and reliably than symbol sets that are more complex in their construction. Basic bliss symbolics are pictographic in nature. Their associated concepts relate easily to their graphic. For example, the roof-shaped symbol represents protection. More complex concepts build on these simpler concepts. Here are more simple shapes for simple concepts. More complex concepts can be constructed from these simpler concepts by overlaying one on the other. Here we see the arrow concepts overlaid on the enclosure and container concepts. It can convey new concepts like into, out of, get, and give. A female protector is a mother. A similar and consistent process is used for father. A container with water is a bath. A chair over water is a toilet. Concepts may also be created by appending one basic symbol to another. For example, all feeling words in bliss symbolics have the heart shape at their core. They are then qualified by appending other shapes to represent specific feelings. Feeling plus up means happy, while feeling plus down means sad. Positive feelings mean good while negative feelings mean bad. Charles Bliss survived the concentration camps of World War II and was deeply affected by Nazi propaganda. When he created his new language, he wanted the language to clearly indicate when a concept was fundamentally an opinion rather than a fact. An adjective or adverb could lean either way depending on your point of view. He put an unstable angled shape over these kind of concepts. For Charles Bliss, a volcano epitomized action and power, so he drew his action indicator from the shape of a volcano. He asked, what does the eye do? It sees. What does the ear do? It hears. And so on. This is how verbs are easily built from nouns. Our 3D printed Bliss tactile symbols reflect the two types of indicators in the top edge of the symbol. Verbs have an action indicator like top. Adjectives and adverbs have an evaluation indicator like top. Nouns, on the other hand, have a rounded top edge. In addition, you can use filament color to distinguish among the parts of speech. In this case, we've used colors from the Fitzgerald key. The symbols can be enhanced by placing engraved text on the back surface, adding braille to the sides, or including holes at different locations for mounting the symbol on a string. You can learn more about the possibilities of representing concepts through Bliss Symbols by visiting these websites and pages.